I'm Jack Jones with the Liverpool Rock and Roller, and I'm here with Shoes for Bikes. Shoes, shoes for Brakes. <laughs> shoes for Brakes, like when you add on your bike. Uh, what's your name? I'm Gareth Jones from Shoes for Brakes. And I'm Simon. 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 So, how long have you been here as a band together then? Well, we, we were in a band as a four piece originally years ago, and then in this format with the two of us, probably about two and a half years now. Yeah. Uh, when you were in a. F- oh, it's raining. Raining, no. <laughs> when you, how long ago were you in a four piece for? Uh, oh, probably for about four or five years, longer, six yeah. years, something four like that. Four or five years, and then, like back then, we'd. Uh, Play all sort of Saturday afternoon gigs at the cavern, yeah, where like, uh, Lennon, tourist coaches s- stuff like that. Bar and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it was like a mixed covers and originals, you know. So we weren't striving out there with just originals. It was a, a, a yeah, mix of yeah. stuff. That we were doing, yeah. yeah. So we used to play Matthew Street and Beatles stuff a lot, kind of that kind of yeah. stuff. So uh, why did the four piece split split up? Just grew up, I think. Yeah. We all just got got yeah. old and got jobs. <laughs> like, so it just gets to that age, doesn't it? Where it's like, well, are you going to carry on yeah. making music, or people have yeah. got lives then, and we all kind of just went our ways. We're all still started, mates and stuff. Yeah. Work, working yeah. away, people were working shifts, so it was like it's difficult to get the, together. The regular right? rehearsal times just went to pot, and so in the end, it just kind of fell apart. And so you've got jobs now. Is this like kind of like a, a side thing for a bit of extra fun and money? Yeah, mainly fun. Not much money. <laughs> Yeah, definitely from that side of things, definitely the, uh, the fun aspect of it. I mean, we did it just because, to be honest with you, I kind of had a few songs, so I turned up with this box thing. <laughs> I thought he was keeping birds, and it turned out to be a cajon. Yeah. So we, uh, uh-huh. a cajon, yeah, it's yeah. like a Peru, Peru, Peruvian, Peruvian drum. Cheers, thank you. So, so we ended up, uh, so we ended up uh, kind of getting together and just testing out those songs, really, and that's yeah. how it started. So I, I love that. You were using the uh, the amp as a drum, weren't you? Yeah, it's, uh, that, that, that's my cajon. That, so that's uh, oh, that, that nice. one's uh, from Spain. So they're used in flamenco uh, over in over in Europe and, and stuff like that yeah. as a drum. They're becoming like increasingly popular. So you're seeing a lot more on TV now. But when we first started, we kind of like lugging the thing around. A lot of people hadn't seen them before and yeah. that sort of thing. But, but yeah, it's, it, it, it's a drum kit made into a wooden box. <laughs> so it's in a box. Fun, yeah. 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 So this is just kind of a side thing then? Yeah, yeah, mainly like, as I said, we play regularly though. Was, yeah. was there anything else you wanted to do before joining the band? Was there any dreams, anything like that? Uh, not really, well, I think the thing is, is when, when we say it's a side and it's like, it's not like, it's not like a hobby. It's like, music has been part of what we've done since we were like 15 years old. You know, we, we've been in bands together since yeah. about that age. And like Gareth had a, a back catalogue of songs that you'd written over the time that we were together as a band. Yeah. You'd been writing songs endlessly all the time and had all this stuff and no outlet for it. So it was when the Cajon came along, we got back in touch and sort of said, oh, you know, I've got some songs, should we jam it up or something like that? And I was like, oh, I've got a box now, I've got this Cajon thing. So we started to put the songs together and then started to do the Liverpool open mics yeah. uh, around, around town. But yeah. it created like a totally different sound than what we had with the four piece completely. Like it was just, a, it just developed our own sound really from yeah. it. So yeah. that was really, really good. Like, and as he said, like music's just kind of in you, isn't it? It's just like yeah. one of those things, you're either into it or, so, or you know. So are your parents into music? Are your parents in bands? Or yeah, any well, family? Well, my, he wasn't in bands or stuff, but he played guitar. But like, I remember my earliest memories, like being at home with the radio on and like John Lennon LPs and stuff like that being played. Yeah. So it was always music was always always on around the house. So uh, that's how I kind of grew up into it, really. Decent, that's decent. I've been Jack Jones with the Liverpool Rock and Roller, and these have been shoes for breaks. breaks. Hey, there you go. <laughs>